Hello everyone, welcome to Precious Years. In this video, I will share with you the Bookshark instruction material for level two, science and history, as well as the readers. <laughs> if this interests you, please stay tuned. If this is your first time visiting our channel, I wanted to let you know I received these materials from Bookshark in exchange of an honest review, um, and I will share our tidbits throughout the year. If there's anything in particular you want me to do a video, please leave them in the comments. I'm making these videos so it's helpful in your decision-making process, and you can see what's inside before you purchase them. So these videos are for you, so make sure to leave me a comment if there's anything in particular you want to see from us. Shark Kim gave us this um, binder and then when you open up the binder you'll see that there's tabs for 36 weeks and the way this made up is for this will go for 36 weeks and four days a week so which works great because that's how I plan right now as well and I was like not strong enough to be able to um, not take this off the wrapper but then I said no I wanted to do this with share with you guys so I only opened up the readers and then I read through that <laughs> and then I kept the science and the world history to share with you guys um, so yeah so there's that and then there's the history and what I will show you guys what it says on it and how it is So here is the history and it's this thick and then I will put them in the binder with you guys so you see it. This is for the science, life science, meteorology and mechanical technology and it's like this and then this is for the level 2 advanced reader. All right. Okay, so I decided to keep the footage of um, me putting together the binder at the end. So in case you're not interested in that, you do not have to watch longer than you want to. I thought that would just uh, make it um, easier and convenient for everyone. The first section has informational materials such as welcome letter, how to set up the binder, etc. The history included a world map that's laminated and hole punched that I decided to keep at the front for now. Uh, the second section has the schedule and activity sheets that are divided into 36 weeks. The third section has informational information such as how to use Bookshark and how you can switch it up to make it work for you and your kiddos. The fourth section has book list, timeline, book list, and sign supply list broken down in two weeks. The course is set up to be used four days a week and the fifth day can be a fun learning day or catch up day, um, which works great for us because this is this year we have done that and it worked great for us. Bookshark has structured the week for you and then it goes into details for daily activities. So all the work has pretty much been done for you unless the kiddos need supplementation depending on their learning style. Uh, the reader section has comprehension, vocabulary, and spelling suggestions. The history has all the books and readers and questions and activities laid out for you. And it's really, really easy how they have it set up. The science is also laid out in the same manner and has activity sheets for each week. 
I love how uh, it's not tedious worksheet work, uh, just a couple questions a day, and I love that it's more about activities and seeing in books. Uh, they also mention that in their guide to parents that kids learn best by seeing and observing and in doing the experiments. So this is a huge win because we're shifting more towards the Charlotte Mason um, learning style. So I really can appreciate this. And in here, you'll see me flipping through different weeks so you can get a feel for how the weeks are set up. And you'll see that it's all laid out in the same manner. So um, it's not going to be a surprise or um, you'll kind of get used to the flow of how the lessons are set up. And then at the end, you have two certificate of completion for history and science. So it looks like when I recorded the put together binder, the focus wasn't um, as clear in some places. So I'm showing you uh, from the binder setup. So I just pulled the footage from there so you can see it clearly. So section three in a nutshell, um, it has guidance on how to use Bookshark curriculum. Um, as well as tips and tricks um, as far as how to teach your kids and if something is not working how you can tweak it. It also includes, uh, which I could really appreciate that it included some developmental stages like practical gross motor and other stuff broken down into grades up until third grade. I think um, the level two is up until third grade, kids up until third grade. So they included that in there. It also has book lists, scope and sequence, and for science it has the supply list for experiments, which uh, majority of them uh, of the supplies were included along with the kit. One thing I want to mention is be sure to check out Bookshark's social media accounts in Twitter and Instagram and Facebook because they're very active there and they have a good user community. I was not asked to say this, I just wanted to throw it out there because I noticed it and just wanted to share that with you because um, that's why we do this, right? To share information with each other. And section four pretty much just has information for a new person um, that is first seeing Bookshark for the first time and any tips and tricks that they have um, along with some um, additional advertisement for their different levels. Um, that's all that's included. After putting together the binder, the only thing I may change is instead of keeping them in the binder, I might put them in a folder uh, like we did this year um, and keep them in the crate by week. I think it will save us a lot of time in putting them back in their own binder because we don't use work boxes anymore. Uh, so that's the only change that comes to my mind right now because the Bookshark binder is huge because it holds so much. I am so beyond grateful and happy with this box curriculum that will cover history, geography, science, and reading for us, and all the work has been done for us. I've been putting in more hours in work this year, and I don't really have the time to plan like I did in the past year. Um, now I can devote my summer to my girls, enjoying and making up for the lack of time that I was able to give them uh, for just play and fun instead of uh, planning which I will kind of miss, I think, but still. <laughs> um, so this came to me as a blessing. Stay tuned as I share more of how we use Bookshark. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are using Bookshark, please drop a comment because I would love to go through this with others um, so we can lean on each other for support. So thank you so much, and I will see you on our next video. Have a great day.